All right, and another thing I noticed about the Conso 206RB1. And someone was asking me about um, oiling their machine. And basically, anywhere there's a hole in a machine, especially if it's got red next to it, all these holes in the bed, they're all places the oil goes. And basically, every machine's the same way. It's got the same basic oiling spots. And any, any place there's a bearing or a little uh, well or a piece of felt, that's an oil port. And if I tip this back, I learned just the other day, if you look down in the bottom of the Tonso 206, I don't know if the uh, other RB23456, if those models have it, but this is a actual oil well, and there's a wick. You can see it come out up at the top here. That little wick is inside there, and it runs over to the main bearing, I believe. And that's a sight glass in there, and that's oil. Oil's just, but you can see the oil sloshing around in there. So it holds about two, three ounces of oil in there. You fill it up in this little hole right here. Just take that little screw out and just pump that thing full of oil. And it, uh... I guess it's self-oiling wicks oil over there. And, of course, you know your machine's doing pretty good when you got oil dripping down in the pan. So, yeah, keep those machines oiled. Anywhere there's a hole that oil should be coming out, you put oil in there, too. Any of these little rods down here, any fork. I think here's a fork. Forks usually work on an eccentric that run your feed dog. Uh, put a little grease in there or Vaseline. And, uh, yeah, anywhere there's a rod end like that with a pin in it, that gets oil. There, any moving joint, all these joints here where the machine spins, everything gets oiled where it moves. Any connecting moving parts. But, yeah, so that's pretty cool. Got a little oil tank there.